What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Today, we're going to do a big vinyl update. We probably have close to 80 records to show. Yeah, yeah. So, this might be a longer one, um, but we have a lot of good records that we've been needing for a while. So, we're going to show them. Um, so, like I said, it might be long. Get yourself a snack. Yeah. Uh, uh, our last vinyl update was in October. Okay. So, this is everything that we have collected from October yeah. to now. Mm -hmm. So everything from November, everything from December, Christmas, all of January to now, which the day we're recording this is February. February 7th, right? That sounds right, February 7th, yeah. So you have a lot to show, I have a lot to show. So, um, but before I get into mine, I'm doing mine in order of like, how would I say it? Of when you when you bought them of when I bought them so like the first one I show is gonna be the the first one that hasn't been shown on this channel yet and right. the last one I show is gonna be actually the one I got yesterday the most recent pickup yeah so yeah if all right that makes enough sense. blabbing we yeah. got a lot of records to show let's go I'm gonna start off with three um, non 12 inches okay so the first one I have is this Twin Temple Satan is a woman and I'm a witch uh, single it's on red uh, glitter I don't know if you can see the glitter but it's in there uh, they're one of my favorite new bands we're big fans of them mm -hmm. so had to have that uh, Satan's a Woman is such a great song yes and then at Mr. K's our, our local bookstore I found this Iron Maiden Can I Play With Madness 7 inch um, for $5 such a good deal and this is actually a harder to find copy of it because it is the white label promo which has can i play with madness on both sides um and it's supposed to have the black bar blues song on the b side nice but this has can i play with madness on both sides mm -hmm. um one of my favorite maiden songs so glad to have that and then this is something that you got me for christmas yes the afi all hollow zp quick four song ep that's really good um, and this is on um, Pumpkin Orange, of course. That's cool. Amazing art. Love that center label. Love this EP. So glad you got it for me. Yeah. Big AFI fans. <clears throat> All right. And I'm just going to show this Dead Kennedys record. Uh, this is my first Dead Kennedys record. And um, they're one of my favorite punk bands, so I had to have it. It's got, you know... Uh, California, Uber Alice, it's Love got it. Holiday in Cambodia, so it's an essential. Love it. Um, why don't you show that 7 inch? Okay. <clears throat> uh, I also, this is the only uh, non 12 inch I have to show. I don't even remember where I got this, do you? I got it for you. Oh, you got it for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were, I was at work and then you picked this up for me. Yep. Uh, this is a Jack White single that I did not have. Uh, I'm trying to get all of the Jack White singles and the White Stripe singles. I'm missing just a couple. This one's got Would You Fight For My Love and Parallel on it. All right. I'm going to keep it going with the White Stripes. This is the, the most recent uh, record that they put out. It's the White Stripes Greatest Hits. Very good. Which, do you have that over there? Did you? It's yeah. in there. Okay. We both bought a copy of this for the simple reason that if you bought a copy, well, you ordered it. I pre-ordered from Third Man website. Yeah, when it was announced because mm -hmm. you had to have it. Mm -hmm. But then they put out, if you buy it from your local record store, you get a free novelty item. I should have brought mine. You have the Hotel Yorba notepad. Yeah. And uh, I got the screwdriver. Yeah. Um, that is really cool. So we had to have this. Actually, when I bought this record, they gave they gave me both of those novelties. Yeah. Um, you're only supposed to get one. But they gave me the notepad and the screwdriver. Very cool. So, Amazing compilation. Mm -hmm. White Stripes, one of our favorite bands. So glad they put out a great Keep hits. it going. Okay. Keep it going. Well, speaking of White Stripes, I got D. Still. And for those of you who have been here a while, you might be thinking, uh, Terry, you already have D. Still. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. But I do not have this Vinyl Me Please version. Amazing. Um, I'm not going to show every single record that um, like I get because a lot of them are just like standard. But this is uh, a rare one. This is madness. red and black cool. splatter. Um, pick this up at our local record store. All right. Um, Horizon Records in Greenville. We love them. 
Uh, we try to hit them at least once a month, but usually more. So I love the cover on that. It's it's like shiny. It's got like a shiny gloss on it. Yeah, whoever had this before kept it in the shrink, so I kept it in the shrink too. And like the cover is metallic. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So I uh, can't remember what month it was in. Um, maybe December. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, I think it was a Black Friday deal. Mm -hmm. Walmart had all of their vinyl records for $15, mm -hmm. no matter what the record. Um, and this is one that I picked up, Soundgarden, Super Unknown. One, uh, I mean, this is probably my favorite Soundgarden album because it has Fell on Black Days and Black Hole Sun and Spoon Man, The Day I Tried to Live. It's just an awesome record, um, and it's a must-have in our collection. So for 15 bucks, I had to get that. Yeah. I had to. I mean to grab that. I don't know why that's in there. Anyway, um, I picked up Eurythmics uh, from our local record store. I fell in love with this album last year, and then like a week or two later, it was at the record store, and I was like, "You're coming home with me." So I picked you up. You gotta love when that happens. Yeah. So when you're that's like, my "Oh, next this one. album rocks." I wish I could find it, and then you go and, and you fucking you find it immediately. Yeah. So I had awesome. to get that. All right, keeping up with the Walmart fifteen dollar deals. Mm -hmm. Tom Petty greatest hits. In essential, a classic. We're big Tom Petty fans. I a mean, classic. every song on this. Come on, you can put that on and just let it go. Yep. Um, Fifteen bucks couldn't beat. I've been wanting this record, but it's been like thirty dollars, and I haven't wanted to spend that. On, right. Uh, this record because so you got it for like half off. Yeah, so I got it for fifteen bucks. Yeah. Amazing deal. All right, cool. Um, I don't even remember getting this. Did I get this at Horizon? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember you buying that. Um, this is in my mm. recently added, I don't remember buying this recently, but it's in my recently added. <laughs> you probably got it at Horizon. I probably got it at Horizon. It's usually a $30 record. Did I already say what it is? No. This is Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly. This was like one of the only Kendrick records I was missing besides his Untitled Unmastered. Um, I have Damn and I have, um, Good Kid Mad City. Uh, so this is another one that I, I needed. So I picked that one up. Very good. All right, this is another Twin Temple one that I ordered exclusively from their store. It was up on their website for a limited time. Um, this is the Stripped from the Crypt uh, live album, which is something that they did during the pandemic, during the early months of the pandemic. They would play um, their songs live for YouTube every, I don't know if it was Monday, but like every week they would play um, live songs with just the two of them. So it's kind of stripped down. Uh, again, I love Twin Temple so much, and this is limited to 666 copies, mm. and it's on this red and black, just like splatter. That looks like my uh, D still one. Yeah, so this is hard to get now because they're not selling it anymore. Okay. But, uh, Very cool. I love it. All oh, right. one more detail. Mm -hmm. It's signed by the two of them. Ooh. Down there and over there. Very, Very cool. happy to have this. Very cool. You want to show a couple more since you yeah. got more than me? Yeah. All right, this is another one that my mom got for me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Tenacious D, uh, Pick a Destiny. Love, Classic. Love all these songs. This is one of our favorite movies to watch. Yes. Big Tenacious D fans, even bigger Jack Black fans. So, Very yeah. Cool. Love it. You gotta love that. And then I got, when this was announced that it was getting reissued, I had to order it from Amazon. Stone Temple Pilots Core. Uh, their best album for sure. Mm -hmm. Dead and Bloated, album. Sex Type Thing, Wicked Garden, Creep, I mean Plush. It just keeps going. This is mm -hmm. an awesome record. Had to have it. Very cool. I was lucky enough to see them live a couple years back. With Scott um, or with Chester? Uh, with Chester. Yeah, yeah. So kind of even luckier. So now that Chester is no longer with us. This is one that you got me for Christmas that I didn't expect. Yes. This has been on my want list. This is the soundtrack to The Cable Guy, which is a 90s, under, very underrated Jim Carrey movie. Mm -hmm. This has a lot of great songs, though. It's got some Jerry Cantrell solo material, which I really like. Um, Silver Chair, uh, mm -hmm. Jim Carrey's version of Somebody to Love, Filter, Hey Man, Nice Shot, and uh, Cypress Hill. I mean, this is awesome. And it's on this really cool color that I got to show. It's called Information Superhighway Splatter. That's cool. Looks like Fruity Pebbles just smashed on the record. Yeah. Very happy you got this for me. Yeah. I didn't expect it because it's such a weird one. Yeah. But we really love the movie Cable Guy. Definitely. All right. Well, um, my next, like, I think four vinyl that I'm going to show 
are from that Walmart Black Friday deal, so I must have gotten them in November. This first one, do not judge. Um, it was $15, and I, I like I like this artist. Uh, but this is Bruno Mars, uh, Doo-Wops, and Hooligans. Now, I know you're thinking Bruno Mars, what in the world? But it's got Grenade, Just the Way You Are, The Lazy Song, Talking to the Moon, Marry You. A lot of good hits on this one. All right, it could be a lot worse. Yes. All right, this is another one that you got for me for... Did you get this for me? No, that was your mother. Okay, my mom got this for me. The Hellraiser 2 soundtrack. I have Hellraiser 1. Needed this one too. Um, and I think it's colored. Yeah. Another black and red swirl type of thing. Love it. Love it. Very good. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm sure it's cool. Maybe next Halloween I'll spin it. That'd be cool. Alright, um, this is another Walmart deal. This was my best Walmart deal because this album is like $42. Mm -hmm. um, and I got it for 15 bucks. This is The Weeknd, After Hours. His second best album, in my opinion. I'm a huge Weeknd fan. I really want to see him live once uh, concerts are um, a thing again. He just posted tour dates for 2021. Yeah, 2022. 2022, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, this is Clear Love and that. Red Splatter. Um, so yeah, if you have not listened to this album and you are an R&B fan, I don't know what rock you're living under, so mm -hmm. go listen to it. Um, yeah, excellent Walmart find. Yeah, for sure. Okay, this next one is Ted Nugent, Great Gonzos. This is an artist that I have to separate the artist from the personality. Mm -hmm. I have to separate the music from the personality. Because I don't like really anything that he has to say, um, politically. Mm -hmm. But the music is just, I mean, I grew up with the music. Um, he's a big influence on me um, with guitar and Stranglehold is one of my favorite songs of all time uh, I didn't, And I didn't have any Ted Nugent, so I figured just the best of would be would be good enough Yeah, you used to have all of his stuff, didn't you? Yeah, I used to, got rid of it. yeah, I used to be like Super like Ted Nugent fan until I found out how bad of a person he was Yeah In my opinion, but a best of, have, gotta have it all right, uh, like I said, I think I got two more Walmart finds to show you guys from Black Friday. This is Haley Williams' solo album, Pedals for Armor. Um, if you like Paramore, you will obviously like this. Uh, it's not like Paramore, it's not like rock, it's more like indie pop, I guess. Uh, Simmer is my favorite track, so if you're a fan of Haley Williams, you should definitely give this album a listen. For $15, I could not leave it behind because yeah. I already really loved it anyway. So yeah, Man, another excellent deal. Walmart find. All right, this one is one that I needed to complete my sword collection. It's their first album, Age of Winters. Um, maybe my second favorite sword record, but this is one that I see all the time, and I don't pick it up for that reason, because I see it all the time. It doesn't feel like I need to, like, oh my god, I have to buy that right now. But I finally did it, um, thankfully. This is a really good one. Love this sword album. Show a couple more. Okay. All right, you so. You got a lot more than I do. I wanted to um, keep filling out my Foo Fighters collection, so I ordered this from Amazon. There's nothing left to lose. Maybe my third favorite Foo Fighters record after Wasting Light and Sonic Highways. Um, this has similar best songs. Break Out, Learn to Fly, Give Me Stitches, Generator. Love it. Love it. And I love that album cover too. Nice. And then before that I bought Color on the Shape from... Pharmacy Records in Greenville. Um, oh, yeah. Again, some of their best songs. Monkey Wrench, Everlong, My Hero. Just hits, hits all over on this one. Nice. Love the cover, too. Had to get that to complete. Well, not to complete, but keep going on the Foo Fighters collection. Yeah. All right, I lied to you guys. I think I have two more Walmart finds. No, three. Three more. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is another Walmart find. Man, I dropped some coin uh, at Walmart on Black Friday. You had to. $15 for a brand new record is such a good deal. This is another record that's usually like $30, and it's not like my favorite record ever, so I usually pass on it. But for $15, I had to get uh, Travis Scott's Astro World. Obviously, it's got Sicko Mode on it. Uh, but there's a lot of other great songs on here, like Stargazing, uh, No Bystanders, uh, Who, What, Butterfly, Split, Butterfly Effect, all that good stuff. So... If you like rap music, you already know about this album. And really, if you don't like rap music, you already know about this album. This album was huge when it came out. Sicko Mode is one of my favorite rap songs. Ever. Yeah, I mean, so for $15, had to add it to the collection. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> All right, um, Havoc re uh, reissued some of their, uh, well, the, really their whole discography. So I had to um, buy, buy two that I didn't have yet, um, which is Unnatural Selection and Time Is Up. I love these albums. It's amazing modern thrash. And I guess they're just on black. I thought they were colored. Um, but yeah, I had to get these two. I love thrash metal. So... Definitely. Yeah. They're one of my favorite new bands, too. Yeah. All right. You want me to show another? Yeah. Okay, this is my next to last Walmart find. Okay, the packaging is not the best because I had to do some DIY with it. But this is Lady Gaga's recent album, Chromatica. Uh, it's on clear vinyl, as you guys can see. Um, my least favorite Gaga album, you know, um, and I'm not including her Tony Bennett uh, duets album or whatever and the Star is Born soundtrack, because those are just kind of, you know, whatever. But in terms of Lady Gaga studio albums, this is definitely my least favorite, although there are some bops on it. But I'm a huge Gaga fan. You guys know this, and you're going to see some more Gaga vinyl in just a little bit. Um, but, yeah, um, I'm a big Gaga fan, so I had to add this to my Gaga collection. Mm -hmm. All right. Guar finally reissued their Scum Dogs of the Universe vinyl which is one that I passed on a long time ago when they reissued it for Record Store Day, and I, I was regretting that the whole time. But they finally put it out again. Cool cover. Uh, love this album. Especially Sexecutioner. <laughs> that song is always <laughs> coming up on your playlist. So, yeah. I had to get this Guar record because I like it a lot. Very cool. Very cool. And then um, I finally picked up the Stooges Funhouse from Horizon. This is one that I always pass up on because of how common it is, but I guess on that day I decided it was time to get it. Love this album. Uh, TBI is one of my favorite Stooges songs. It's great so, one. Had to have this. Do you want me to do a few more? Yeah. All right, and this was finally reissued, thank God. Love it. Alice in Chains facelift. I had been complaining for, for so long before this was released. I would, I would always be like, the, the only Alice in Chains album that's not that's not out is facelift they'd never pressed that except for like one time um so i was tempted to buy a bootleg but they finally reissued it officially and this is an amazing album nice so good definitely i'll do one more all right this is another walmart 15 dollar deal this is fleetwood mac rubers mm -hmm. which is one that i had uh, an old used copy of which i gave to you yes um which was in good condition and everything, but I wanted this one because it was on clear vinyl. I nice. won't pull it out, but it's on clear vinyl. Yeah. Y'all know what it looks like. This is one <laughs> of the best albums ever made. Definitely. Um, one of the best selling albums for a reason. Definitely. Go on all day, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is another Walmart $15 deal. Yes. Marilyn Manson, We Are Chaos. Not his best album by any stretch of the imagination. But there's some good songs on here, um, and I have all of the other records that have been released officially. Yeah. Except for Born Villain. Okay. But this one I had to have for the Manson collection, and like I said, there's a few good songs on it. All right. I think this is the last Walmart deal in my collection. You might have more. Yeah, I, I still have more. This is my last Walmart deal. $15, another $40 record, or $35 record usually, that I always pass on. But for $15, I was like, you're coming home with me. And that is Harry Styles' Fine Line. If you've ever heard Watermelon Sugar. Watermelon Sugar. That's from this album. Um, I think that's the most popular song, but really there is not a bad song on this album. I don't know. I don't know. I was never into One Direction, but Harry Styles' solo stuff, it, it's banging. He's very talented. Yeah, he's hes a talented dude. So. If, you, um, if you go on YouTube and look up his cover of Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer on Howard Stern, one yeah. of the best covers I've ever heard. Yeah, that is a really good cover. I think my favorite song from this is Golden, the first okay. song. Um, I might change my mind in a couple weeks, though. So, if you know, you know. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not into One Direction, but he's very talented. Yes. All right. All right, I have two more from the Walmart $15 sale. <laughs> These are two Rush records that I needed for my collection. All I had was the All the World's a Stage live album. So, I had to get 2112 and uh moving pictures for 15 bucks each for a brand new record i mean that's such a great deal yeah and this 2112 has the hologram in the in the middle on the dead wax of the star that's cool so had to have these rush records they're essential definitely we love rush 
All right, show a couple more. All right, this is one that means a lot to us. Boingo, boingo, um, dark at the end of the tunnel. Um, we got an oingo, boingo, boingo very heavily last year. Yes. Um, and this has some of our favorite uh, songs by them. Skin, uh, Auto Control, Love It. Those are two songs that mean a lot to me. And this is an original uh, gold stamp promo. Nice. With the hype sticker. So very happy that I was able to find this on Discogs. Yeah. Love it. You want me to keep going? Yeah, a couple more. Alright, this is a Coheed and Cambria record that finally got reissued. That was, ex it, that was very expensive for the original. This is No World for Tomorrow. Um, amazing songs on this. The Hound, Feathers, Running Free, uh, Justice and Murder. Probably my second favorite or third favorite Coheed record. Nice. Um, I'm really glad that that got reissued because this is a great one. Yeah. I think it's on black. I love the album cover uh, of this next one you're about to show. Yeah. You want me to, you want me to go ahead? Yeah, just one more. Well, you got a lot I'm, more than I do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bundle these three up. Okay. You want me to show one? Or? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. This was a pre-order, and I've been waiting for this sucker to get announced, y'all. Ever since I got into vinyl collecting, I was like, this needs to be on vinyl. Uh, one of my favorite movies, definitely top five. Um, so the soundtrack to Sweeney Todd was released. Sweeney Todd, the movie, not the musical, the movie with Johnny Depp as the lead man. Um, I love this movie so much. Mm -hmm. um, technically, it's a scary movie. It's, it's very gory. There's a yeah. lot of blood, but it's not like you can't watch it alone type scary movie. If you've never seen this, I really, really highly recommend it. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on <clears throat> each individual record, but this is one that I knew that I had to have. I pre-ordered it as soon as it was announced, and I love it so much. There's so many great songs on this. My favorite... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe By the Sea, because that one's, that one's a classic, but there's so many good ones, so mm -hmm. check it out if you are into stuff like that. All right, I have three. You want to hold up one? Yeah. I have three King Diamond records to show. These are all um, amazing reissues, and I've just been trying to fill out my King Diamond uh, discography. So I had to get House of God, Voodoo, and the Spider's Lullaby. Yeah. These all come with huge posters of the album art, and they're just amazing. I think I got all of them from Discogs. Nice. Had to have those King Diamond ones. He's one of our favorite artists. On our last uh, record hunting trip, you were on the lookout for those, right? Yeah. Yeah, but now you finally got them, which is good. Yeah, I had an order on my disc card, so that's okay. Yeah. All right. My turn? Uh, I'll show one more. Okay. This is another one that my mom got me for Christmas. This is Clutch. Uh, I think it's their first album. We're big fans of the song um, Big News 2 on this one, mm -hmm. which I discovered from the Bam Margera Haggard soundtrack and the movie. Uh, this is 300 copies on translucent vinyl, yes. uh, music on vinyl press. Uh, so I was glad she got that for me. Yeah, very good. All right, this next one, psh, obvious. We've already talked about it. I pre-ordered it. This is the White Stripes Greatest Hits. Yeah. I know we've already showed it, but I do want to show you guys um, the insert that came with it. I really love it. It kind of shows off all the different things that you can get at your record stores. Uh, and I kept it, obviously. Um, there's so many different things that you can find or not now, but you could have found when this record came out and it's just kind of, uh, you know, I wish more out, more artists included little things like that, more incentives, you know, to kind of support your local record stores. So mm -hmm. this is one obviously, uh, had to get when it came out and we actually both made, there was like a competition for like, try to guess what. Uh, songs are on the White Stripes Greatest Hits. Make a playlist on Spotify, and we both tried to do it, and we we're both we're pretty, pretty close. close. Yeah, so had to get that one. All right, my next one um, is You're welcome. one that you got me that I'm so glad you did. Body Count, <laughs> Bloodlust. Yeah, we love Body Count. Ice Tea's the man. Combined, maybe one of our favorite bands. We have individual favorite bands, but as a but as a as one person, this is probably one of our favorite bands. <laughs> Um, and this is my second favorite record by them. This is just amazing. It's got Dave Mustaine doing stuff on it. Some Slayer covers. No Lives Matter is such a great song. Yeah. Uh, I think this is just on black. 
Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. So glad you got me this. And then before you got me that, I ordered this one from Discogs. This is their second album, uh, Born Dead. I love that cover. This body count on the back. I haven't listened to this record mm -hmm. yet. I, I sampled it on uh, YouTube, some of the songs, and I, I really liked what I was hearing, so I decided to just buy it. And this is an original press from 94. Yeah. Love it. Very cool. We can stare at that cover all day. All right, speaking of album covers, or I'm sorry, not album covers, albums that you haven't even listened to yet, <clears throat> I bought this and I have not listened to it yet. This is Billy Joe's new solo record, No Fun Mondays. Um, is this colored? Uh, is it on blue? I don't know. This has not been spun. I have not listened to it on Spotify. Oh, it is blue. Okay, let me show it. Bright blue, baby blue. Like that. Nice. I do like the label. The label's really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously you guys know I'm a big Green Day fan. If you scroll way back on this channel, you'll find a really terrible video of me singing on stage with Green Day <laughs> from like 2010. We also did a uh, Your Green Day Collection video. Yes. Which, which somebody is... recently commented that it's like a Green Day museum. <laughs> so if you're in the Green Day, go check that out. It is like a Green Day museum. So I haven't listened to it yet, but uh, I bought it because Green Day Collector, although I still haven't bought the new Green Day album on vinyl, and I don't know if I ever will, unless mm -hmm. it's like five or ten bucks. Yeah. So there we go. All right, um, so, so yeah, my next one is an original copy of Spreading the Disease by Anthrax. I went through a big Anthrax kick in, was it late December or was it probably early January? I went through a big Anthrax kick and I wanted to get all the records that I didn't have. So this is an original press of Spreading the Disease. Uh, you still need a cool Anthrax shirt. Yeah, no. I think I got this from eBay. Love that. I love this album. Nice. Uh, Madhouse is on here. I mean, come on. What's y'all's favorite Anthrax album? I'm curious, because I'm just now getting into them, kind of. You went through a phase, and now you're like, you need to listen to these, so I'm going to listen to all their records. Speaking of, the record that you have next up on your to listen to Yes. is Among the Living, Yeah. which I had a reissue of for a long time. I'm sure I showed it off uh, previously on this channel, but I found this original copy at Horizon, from 1987 uh, and the vinyl's in amazing shape and everything. I love this record and I was able to sell my reissue for the price that I got this one for. So Gotta it, love that. it was like 30 bucks and I was able to sell, maybe, or was it 50? Somewhere between 30 and 50 and I made my money back selling the reissue. Either way, it wasn't a bad deal for an original copy. Even though you, even though this is next on your to listen to, you know a lot of songs from here. Yeah. You know Caught in the Moss, you know uh, Ethel Nicky Pheasant, mm -hmm. you know, Indians, so. I'll never forget when we were listening to Ethel Nicky Pheasant in the car, and you were like, what does that stand for? We were, we were sitting there thinking about it. And, and I said, nice fucking life. Yep, <laughs> backwards. Yeah. So yeah, love that I have an original of this. That was a big brain moment for me. And I'll go ahead and show this since it's Anthrax too. Love this This cover. one, this one, I had to, like your Lady Gaga one, I had to <laughs> kind of uh yeah why yeah, the uh plastic sleeve protector i, I took two plastic sleeves <laughs> and cut them and then tried to put them like this and tape them together so it's just it's just a big uh big mess hey you, it, you do what you gotta do yeah it does the job this is the reissue of persistence of time it's on uh orange vinyl with like black swirl uh one of my favorite anthrax, anthrax records love in my world and got the time obviously mm -hmm. had to have this i was so glad that i got reissued yeah definitely. this is a fat one look at that yeah can't fit that in a normal sleeve if you're into anthrax like i said let us know your favorite uh album down in the comments below or your favorite anthrax song our I'm favorite curious. our favorite anthrax record right now is state, state of, of euphoria, euphoria which we have an original of back there which we showed <laughs> i don't know when yeah. we've, we've shown it before all right, now for some, something completely different. <laughs> uh, this is a Christmas gift from you, right? You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome, yes. Okay, this is, I love this album. The whole theme for Christmas this year was like female artists. Besides, I guess so. Besides those two back there, which are amazing. I guess so. Female artists and then, well, another non-female artist. But anyway, Doja Cat Hot Pink. If you're into pop, 
you you need this album if you're into female artists you need this album um there's not a bad song on here okay all of the songs i love all of the songs it's got her most famous which is say so didn't even know this. which you, you already know Fortnite, you'd know it if you play Fortnite, you know it if you're on tiktok you know it uh, but it's got a lot of other uh, amazing songs as well. So Doja Cat Hot Pink, I'm so happy I have this. And I've wanted it ever since I saw that girl in the record store trading it in. But then they didn't give her enough, so she took it home. And I was like, I did not even know Hot Pink was on vinyl. And I need that. So I'm glad that I have it. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, my next one is Slayer, Live Undead. This is filling out the Slayer collection. Um, keeping that going. I found this at Cabin Floor Records in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. This is the picture disc. Wow. The blood splatter picture disc. I love it. <laughs> this Very is, cool. Very this cool. This is just a live Slayer EP kind of. Um, love it. Early Slayer. Nice. Evil. Evil. Show another. All right. And then I got this from Second Charles, our local... I guess it's like a books a million type store. Um, yeah. This is a. Uh, it used to be a books a million. Yeah. This is the reissue of Motorhead's first album, and this is on silver vinyl. Very cool. I haven't spun it yet, but I'm sure it sounds good. Yeah. All right. Like I said, Christmas this year was very female artist oriented. Uh, did you get me this, or did you? You. This was an anniversary present. Yeah. Yes. This was our our anniversary is December fifteenth. <clears throat> We've been together 10 years this past, uh, 2020 was our 10th year together. Uh, so this is Lady Gaga's Art Pop. Uh, arguably one of the best Lady Gaga records. One that is often overlooked. It's definitely in my top three. Um, maybe not my number one, but maybe my number two or number three. If you're into Lady Gaga and you haven't checked out this record, I don't know what's up with you. You need to check it out. Um... I've loved this record ever since it came out, um, and I'm still on the hunt for my Chromatica Oreos. Okay. So, <laughs> that's that. All right. Uh, show, show another one. Okay. Um, you and your mother both helped me out a lot this Christmas in filling yeah. out my Lady Gaga collection. This one's from your mother, right? Yes. Okay, shout out Heidi. Uh, this is Lady Gaga Joanne, um, her most recent before Chromatica the kind of country inspired one, which I have no problem with because she took her own twist with it. It's got the title track, Joanne, on it. And then you really love, um, what song? Million Reasons. Yes. Again, with Howard one. Stern, he always has amazing um, in-studio performances. Yeah. She did a, an amazing uh, version of that on Howard Stern. Yeah. So uh, definitely give this album another uh, listen as well. <clears throat> Definitely not my number one Gaga album, but it's still awesome. And again, when it came out, that's like all I listened to. All right. You want me to show the next one too? Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Last Lady Gaga album. This one is probably, uh, this is again another one in my top three. This is Lady Gaga's Born This Way. Again, when it was released, this was all I listened to. I've been a Gaga fan forever. And this one's got hits on hits on hits. This yeah. one's got Born This Way, Judas, um, Heavy Metal Lover, The Edge of Glory, You and I. My mom Amazing. got that one for you, I think. Did she? Yeah. She got me yeah. Joanne in this? Yeah. I thought she got me. Okay. Yeah. So um, now I have almost all that I need for my Gaga collection. Which one are you missing? The Fame Monster. Is that hard to find? Yes. I miss Typical. Fame. Monster. Yes. Typical. Um, but yeah, and like the, you know, Star is Born soundtrack, which I'm not interested in, and then her duets. You're not album. interested in it? Not really. There's I thought only, you really liked that soundtrack. There's like three songs that I like. Alright. The three songs are amazing, but I don't know if I'd want the entire album. Alright. So, um, that, and then like her duets thing, which, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna shut up now. Alright, <clears throat> my next two are the same record, because I'm such a fan of it. This is Paradise Lost, Draconian Times. This finally got reissued. I've been lusting after an original press for like a hundred bucks, and I've almost pulled the trigger so many times. Mm -hmm. But I waited, and this got finally reissued, and I bought... First two off, copies. I bought the Electric Blue version. 
which is cool. And then, um, I was like, oh, man, this, this version is so much cooler. Um, this is the, uh, this is the more exclusive one. This is, um, clear with blue and red splatter. And it comes with a huge booklet, which, uh, the other one didn't. So. Very cool. I had to have both of them because I really love this album a lot. Love that album art, too. If you are a fan of, like, doom metal or, you know, stuff like that, look up the track Enchant Enchantment. Yeah. We're both really into that one. That one's a good one. Amazing. Yeah. My turn again? Yeah. All right. Again, like I said, I think this is the last female artist I have to show, but that was the main theme for my Christmas this year. I don't think I told you that I wanted this, but I, I was dropping hints. I really, really wanted... Um, an Ariana Grande record and you got me thank you next yeah. which I'm so glad you did if you're into pop if you're into female artists you already know Ariana Grande I honestly want all of her albums on vinyl because she's so cool she's just I don't know she's one of the best pop artists female pop artists that there are today um, there's other good songs on here, like Ghost in, oh, Seven Rings, you guys probably all, already know Seven Rings, um, but there's also, uh, a really good documentary on Netflix, uh, about Ariana Grande, so if you're into that type of music, if you like her like I do, you should give that, um, a watch. So, I got yeah. that for you at Target. Yes, and it's, I'm so glad you did. It's unclear. And when you were looking at Target's website, obviously I didn't know about this, but you were looking at the Cable Guy soundtrack. And I was, was like, I? do not get that. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I just bought that for you off Discogs. Do not buy that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad you got that for me. All right, my next one is an essential for us. 69 Eyes Holy. West End. This is the limited to 500 copy red edition. It's just red vinyl. I'm not going to show it. Something I wanted to get you for Christmas, but I had already spent way too much money. It's hard to find, yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't remember where I got this. Maybe Discogs? Probably. I got it for a pretty good price. Or eBay. Maybe eBay. But one of our favorite songs on this is Cheyenne. That's one that we can't, we can't not skip when it comes up. <clears throat> I'll say that if you are just now getting into goth rock, this is a good album to start with. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very... I don't know how to describe it, but it's a good intro album to like goth rock, I think. Yeah, there's so. hints of typo, but not not as slow as typo would get. Right. Um, mainly vocally, but it's like a rock and roll album, just with like goth vocals and just cool keyboards. Mm -hmm. Love it. This is so cool. Kind of related, kind of not, but I got a 69 Eyes inspired ring. <laughs> <laughs> that onk. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I really want to see them live too. Yeah. Mm -hmm things are back to normal all right another christmas gift from you that i have not spun yet but i really need to um another artist that i really need to finish up my collection because i probably have like 70 percent of what i need and i still need a handful of others but this is a blink 182 live album from the 90s called the mark tom and travis show um i've listened to it before and it's actually one of the first live albums that I really liked so I, I listened to it and one of the first Blink-182 albums that got me into Blink-182 a while back um, they play their hits obviously and there's a lot of funny you know conversation between all of them that is is kind of nostalgic for me so I'm really glad you got this from I wonder me. what tour that's that's from uh, I don't know. They play a lot of animal songs I think. Yeah it's, it's definitely from the 90s does it say? Or actually, it says technically 2000. That's when this was put out. But I think it's probably like the show, <clears throat> the concerts from the 90s maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. You know, I could be talking complete nonsense here. That's a cool one. I like all the art on it, too. Yeah, me too. The cartoon. All right. This is one that we broke down and bought a bootleg from because <gasps> it was recently bootlegged because the original press is like five to $700. We went halvesies on this. Yes. So this is staying with your collection, but it's both of our records. Anyway, yeah. It's going to be combined anyway. Yeah. So. It's staying over here just because I have like every other Megadeth record. Right. I'm missing Risk. 
from Megadeth on Look vinyl. Look at that. And that's it. That's never been pressed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this has been pressed like one time. It's insanely expensive. So we bought the bootleg because it was recently bootlegged end of 2020, early January 2021. If you're on the fence about buying this bootleg specifically, buy it. Get off the fence because we listened to it together. We just were we were hanging out. And we just put it on, and it's incredible. The sound quality is amazing. It's amazing. And they used all original stuff. This is not from the remaster. No, which I do not like the remaster. I know I'm probably uh, in the minority here, no. but. I do not like the remaster of it. We're so used to hearing this, these songs from the remaster because that's all that's on Spotify. Yeah. Um, we don't have the original CD and we don't listen to CDs or anything like that. Um, so there's stuff on here that we heard and we were like, whoa, what's that? Yeah. Because it's from the original when it came out, but not, not the uh, reissue, and, remaster. And stuff that I remember <clears throat> listening to when, I, when we were into downloading like the... Um, mp3s we used to be really big into downloading like the entire megadeth discography yeah. and then like listening to it what, what like our on um, our phones or what yeah or on our computers on i don't our know we were oh, big we, into downloading MP3s. we used to have our itunes we used to have so many albums just, <laughs> do you remember that yes yeah i think that's pretty much oh yeah we would to. listen to it on itunes yeah you're right we would uh we would illegally get the music and then Upload we would put it, it into iTunes. our itunes <laughs> yeah so it looked like we bought it, but we did not yeah. buy it. I think we're more than making up for that now. Don't rat us out. <laughs> We've got like close to a thousand records. I don't think we yeah, made Yeah, I, up for I it. think we made up for our uh, troubled past. Anyway, this album sounds get it. so good. Go get it. Zero complaints. Zero complaints. If you're on the fence about this bootleg, go get it. This is your favorite Megadeth record. Favorite Megadeth record. So glad we have it. Yes. Can't right. say enough good things about it. Now for something completely different. <laughs> What's that from? I don't know. My mom probably knows. Mom, if you're watching, I don't know what it's from. Or is it? No, I think it's Monty Python. Is it? Maybe. Somebody knows. Let me know. Speak up. Write it in the comments. All right. Christmas gift. You make him. Something I wanted for a long time, but was not willing to pay for it. Starboy. Favorite weekend record. Gotta show this one. She's a beauty. Oh, and it's the rare, rare, rare blue. Target. Look like a Jolly Rancher, baby. Target again. Looks like a Jolly Rancher. This is my favorite weekend record. I love the weekend. Uh, Me too. Now... Saturday rules. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, look at that track list. Look at that. Let's take a little gander. What's your favorite? Um, I gotta go. Secrets. I knew you were going to say that. Secrets, yeah. I really like Die For You. Alright, I know your mom's favorite is the title track. Mm -hmm. If I don't even know. This is just incredible. I'm so glad I have this. I'm so glad you got that for me. You're welcome. Thank you. Alright, this next one was an impulse buy. I mean, honestly, Story of my life. I went to the record store and I just wanted to buy a record. Then. I've been there. That would be with the Billy Joe record. <laughs> and this is Iron Maiden's uh, recent live album, which I didn't need another Iron Maiden live album. I think I have like three. Live After Death, Flight, Flight 666, and something else. But I had to get this because we saw them on this tour. Yeah. It is, I mean, you can justify because it's sentimental. Yes. I don't know if that thing's coming out of there, brother. It's tight. It's toy. It's pretty tight. I gotta show it though. <laughs> I don't know how you squeezed it in there. Ah! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, we saw them on this tour in 2019. Yes. Amazing. Uh, August? Right? Oh, no. This, here, hold that, please. Yes, sir. This fold out is so cool. Here's all the, all the cities that they played um, in that year. And we're somewhere down here. Then it folds out oh. again. We got all that. We saw all that on the stage. It was so amazing. Yeah, this is one of the most amazing live shows I've ever been to. I mean, let's just be honest. It was probably the best concert we've ever seen. <laughs> Not for me. I sang on stage with Green Day. Don't true that. True that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I had to get this mainly because of the sentimental thing. Yeah. Because we saw them on the tour. Right. Very good. 3LP. And it's a fat boy. Look at that. It's fat. <clears throat> Look at that. It's tight in the sleeve. Yes. Good luck Honestly, a little bit scared of warping. 
but I think it'll be okay. Good luck getting that back in there. Yeah. All right. I have... I'll be over here struggling for about 30 minutes. A small stack to show. One, two, three, four, five, six more to show. All right. This first one. Christmas present from you. You're welcome. So shocked. I, it was completely unexpected. And when you told me how much you paid for this and the other thing, I couldn't believe it because you got a really good deal on it. Um, this is holy moly. And anybody who knows me, anybody who's been on this channel for more than two videos knows how much I love the White Stripes. We did a White Stripes collection a long time ago, which should probably be updated now. I have a White Stripes tattoo. Take your pants off and show them the tattoo. <laughs> no, I'm not going to show you the tattoo. It's on my upper thigh, so not going to have it. All right. White Stripes box set live in Detroit. Uh, this dummy put the tape on the thing. So when I unwrapped it, it but it kind of looks like, you know, it looks intentional. It look it does look intentional, yeah, but um, it was, um, I'm going to quickly show there's one, two, three. Oh, there's so many inserts and stuff. This was a vault package. Yes. So we have, um, oh, let me go I think they're way. backwards. This way. There's one. A show they played live in Detroit for the White Blood Cells tour. All right. There's two. A show they played in Detroit for the V-Still tour. Thank you for being my narrator. Yep. And a show that they played in Detroit for their first album. Very cool. So. Whew. Comes with posters and stuff. If too, you're but. curious, go look this up on Discogs. Um. Because it's worth a pretty penny. And so I got is it. what I'm going to show after this as well. I got that for $50. Yep. So, I'm happy you got it for me. We went all out on each other this Christmas. We did. We mm. spent more than we should have. I'm not, I won't disclose it because it seems braggy. But we went we went over the top. And it's ironic because this Christmas is the Christmas that we didn't get to have a normal Christmas. Yeah, because you had COVID. My entire, fam my entire family had COVID. So we had to do this distanced outside the gift exchange with like double masks on, gloves. Gloves. It was insane. And it we was really freezing cold. We really probably should have done that, but. I mean, we, yeah. It was freezing cold too. Yeah. So we were out there just bundled up, masked up, gloved up. Well, here's, here's, your, here's your next present. Oh, yeah. Thanks. It, it was weird. Ten feet apart. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah. But I. It, it's memorable, so. Yeah. Whatever. You want me to show one? Yes. All right, this is one that I got from Amazon <laughs> recently. Uh, this is the last Pantera Studio album that I needed. The Great Southern Trend Kill. Look at that snipe. Looks Very like you. scary. Very scary. Um, this has great songs like War Nerve and Live Through Me. But, like I said, this is the last one that I needed for my Pantera Studio collection. So I wanted to fill that. For sure. Show that one too. Um, I have four. Like oh, that. that's it. Do you want, no, I have four like that. Do you want me to show all four of them? Oh. Uh, or do you want to go again? Uh, I can you go, go again. again. Um, so kind of like I said, you bundled <clears throat> that with something else, and this something else is again. If you're curious, go look it up on Discogs. And we gotta show the contents. This is the white stripes under Amazonian lights. Look at this box set. I'll try and show quickly. I'll Since, hold it up for you. Okay. Well, we have this 7-inch, okay, white. It's uh, Ain't No Sweeter Than Rita Blues and Let You Down, okay. We have one, two, three postcards. Let me show them face up so you guys can see it. If you're not interested in all this, I'm sorry. These are all very cool. We have a uh, pen that I really want to use, but... No, I'm not gonna because it's uh, <laughs> collector. This reminds me of like the Lisa Frank. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. The uh, felted like coloring pages oh, okay. you could do. Yeah. Um. So that's that's like a color by numbers type thing. Yeah. That's then, a lithograph print. And then we have ooh the record, which is like super soft and velvety. Is it color? Yeah. Right, let me this show is. The color. It's actually 2LP. By White Stripes fans, this is one of their best sh live shows. Yes. Uh, Red Splatter. Mm -hmm. Gotta love it. And last but not least, we have the DVD itself. The DVD in the, the box set, show. which is still sealed. Yep. 
So, um, if you're a White Stripes fan, like me, you might be drooling a little bit. Another vault package from back in the day. Yes. Um, and I got that and that other White Stripes box set from the same seller in a bundle lot on eBay for 100 bucks. Crazy. So they were 50 bucks a piece, which is a great deal. Crazy. So I am so glad you got me that, and I was not expecting it at all. Mm -mm. At all. So, yeah. That's my last for my Christmas, but I still have a couple more records to show you guys from January. All right. So, again with Walmart. I guess <laughs> they've been killing it this, this past, yeah. like, six months or whatever. Mm -hmm. They reissued Metallica records. Metallica. The first five Metallica records, I think, kill them all through the Black Album. Oh, and hard, Hardwired. Um, I had to pick them up. I had uh, reissues of these from, I think, 2014. And I actually put um, Ride the Lightning on my old copy before I sold it. Um, and it, the way that this sounds compared to that is incredible. Really? These sound so good. These are amazing um, reissues. And this is on the, the blue Red Lightning, of course. This is on uh, Battery Brick Red. Poop Brown. Yeah, my favorite Metallica record. Mine I think, too. I think yours too. What? That's not your favorite Metallica record. Yeah, it is. Since when? What do you think it is? Justice. No, nah, it used to be Justice. What? It used to be Justice when we made the Metallica ranked, but I can't deny Master Puppets. This is probably top three metal records ever made. That's the power of my influence. <laughs> um, they reissued Kill Em All. Amazing. Red again. Jump on the fire. Red. Very cool. And they reissue Justice. Nice. On Dyer's Green. And this, I gotta show this green. I mean, green's our favorite color. Look at this. That is that a vibrant is green. so cool. Very awesome. And like That's I said, cool. these reissues sound so good. Yeah. Compared to my other reissues that I had. I'm glad you got those. Yeah, so I bought these um, at Walmart and I sold my um, used reissues to make some money back. Yeah, So nice. that worked out. I ended up spending like 20 bucks for all four of these. Nice. Um, when I sold my reissues and uh, I didn't get the black album because the color just wasn't that cool and um, the reissue that I have already sounds pretty good. And I didn't get hardwired because you already have it. I already have it. The color was just like orange, and I didn't need it. Right. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to show two, because you have two more to show, mm -hmm. uh, and I have four more. So, uh, this one I wanted for Christmas, but it's for some reason it's hard to find online. Um, and we found it at Barnes & Noble <laughs> after Christmas. This is Paramore's uh, Riot. Love uh, it. Is this on orange or is this just black? Should I show it? I think it's black. Is it just black? Okay. Oh, wait. It might be orange. I don't know. Let me check. I don't know. I don't know. It might just be black. Yeah, it's, it's just black. black. Okay. Um, yeah. So, what do you say about this? I don't know. That's, I needed this. I need the other Paramore albums, but this is the one I needed the most. Um, yeah, that's a record that I grew up with those singles on MTV. It's got That's amazing. What You Get, Misery Business, and Crush, Crush, Crush. 10 out of 10s. It's great. All right, and then this, I, where did I find this? Second Charles. I thought so. This is Second Charles. You guys know, I'm a big Priest fan, and this is Killing Machine. Or um, Hellbent for Leather. Yeah, also known as Hellbent for Leather. Leather. Lever. Man, I need that lever. <laughs> leather. <laughs> uh, Hellbent for Leather, Burning Up, The Green Malishi. <laughs> Shut up. Um, yeah, a lot of good stuff. Big Priest fan. Had to get this. Trying to fill out my Priest collection as well. Can't, can't believe I didn't already have it. So, love Hellbent for Lever. <laughs> Shut up. No show what you got yesterday. Okay, yesterday we went to Horizon. Surprise, surprise. We have a big trip coming up for Valentine's Day. Um, which we're going to go to some record stores in Charlotte, which is one of our favorite things to do. So I'm trying to not spend money right now. <laughs> You're getting delirious. I know. That's because we've been sitting here for an hour, dude. Yeah, um, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I saw this sitting there and I had to buy it. King Gizzard infest... In, What'd you call me? <laughs> infest the rat's nest. What'd you call me? 
this has some amazing, amazing songs like Planet B, Mars for the Rich, Superbug, Self Immolate. Had to get it. Mm -hmm. You, you, I think you actually showed me this album. Oh, I know I actually showed you this album. <laughs> you did? Duh. <laughs> I said, hey, you should listen to this King Gizzard album. It's really heavy. Yeah. Um, and it's weird because a lot of their other stuff isn't like this. This is like stoner, thrash, which is definitely what I'm into. And I love this album. Mm -hmm. So I had to get it. And I'll show you all the split. Oh, yeah. It's red and black split. Very cool. It's the U.S. Uh, record store version. It comes with a huge poster of the album cover, which is cool. Yeah. So had to have it. Had to have it. Had to have it. Definitely. All right, this is technically a Christmas present, but it arrived late. Yeah, it was so, a pre-order, and I think it got pushed back. Yes, so I'm really glad you got this for me. This is the new Melanie Martinez After School EP. I have her other two <coughs> full-length albums, uh, Cry Baby and K-12. I don't have her first EP because that's like $400 on Discogs. I wish I could get my hands on it, but... If you haven't already checked this out and you're a fan of Melanie Martinez, you definitely should. I love all the songs on here. She is truly an artist. And look at that image of her. Pretty scary. Mm. So uh, I'm glad you got me this. Yeah. All right. All right. My last one is a record that I actually bought in July of last year on a pre-order. Um, and it literally arrived like a week ago. If that, maybe five days ago. It is Oliver Tree and his debut album, Ugly is Beautiful. Um, we like Oliver Tree a lot. He's really funny. Uh, he is yeah. really funny. A lot of the songs on here are, are, are great. This is the limited edition yellow. It's like highlighter yellow. Very mm -hmm. bright. Mm -hmm. And this is the signed version too. Yeah. So when they shipped it out, it came in just the record standard like this. And then they shipped out an extra uh, sleeve, an extra uh, vinyl record sleeve that was signed by Oliver Tree. Yeah. So I have that uh, in the closet. Try to figure out what to do with it. Because um, back then, back in July, I was like, oh, that'd be so cool to have Oliver Tree signature. But it's been so long at this point, I'm kind of just like, I just want the record. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to my brain, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm glad that I got that. Um, Good record. Also, I will say, I know we're near enough an hour here and it's getting long-winded, but... My legs are fully asleep. How about you? No. Mine never fall asleep. I don't know why Bad yours circulation. <laughs> <laughs> For him to buy a new <clears throat> album, like an album that's, you know, released recently that's not metal or hard rock is saying something. <laughs> Thank you. So, I don't know what that tells you, but besides go listen to Oliver Tree, but the, I don't know, you, you're not, you don't typically buy new albums that aren't like heavy metal or I like agree. really hard rock, so. I like his stuff. Yeah. All right, my last one I literally bought yesterday, and I know this is a pet peeve of yours, but I still have not taken it out of the shrink. Unboxing. <laughs> this is Dead Weather mm. Sea of Cowards, okay? You guys know I'm a big Jack White fan. All right, I have all of the White Stripes, all of Jack White solo, I have all of the rock and tours. I do not have all of the dead weather. Um, I need this one, obviously, and then what's the other one? The one where they're all four, like sitting there. I, yeah. I don't know what it's called. They Cra have more Crash than, and Burn, maybe. I don't know. They have more than two albums, but there's two albums that I am more familiar with, and this is one of them because this one's got Blue Blood, Blues, Hustle and Cuss, Die by the Drop, I Can't Hear You, um, all that good stuff. So I literally picked this up yesterday at Horizon. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to add it to my collection. I remember I Can't Hear You, that song specifically, because it was in Rocksmith. Mm. Which, if you ever played that game, you could plug your you could plug your own guitar into your PlayStation and play along with songs. It was really cool. Yeah. And that's one of the songs that was on there. Yeah. Well, all right. If you have stuck through this video all the way to the end, you deserve something. Uh, a cookie, a, a meal. Uh, I don't know. A meal. <laughs> I don't know what you deserve, but you deserve something. Uh, what do you have to say? Um, go get that meal. Go get that meal. <laughs> go get that meal. You deserve a meal. <laughs> That's my life advice. Go get that meal. He's delirious. We um, have... Actually, I do have something I want to say. Here we go. We have a, a vinyl video coming up. 
uh, after this video, it's going to go up Saturday, and we will be in Charlotte going to some record stores and filming a vinyl hunt. Mm -hmm. What's funny? Nothing. <laughs> We're going to be filming a vinyl hunt um, and a vinyl haul and thrifting in the same weekend. Yes. So there's a lot more content coming y'all's way. I know it's been a hot minute since we've done a vinyl video. Uh, we're going to try and be better about uh, sprinkling those in there um, as much as we can. So, like I said, if you've made it this far, you deserve a meal. Get that meal. Get that meal. Um, let us know what your favorite find is of all this in the comments below. And uh, like and subscribe if you have not already. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Get that meal. <laughs>